Okay, perfect. Uh, should I like if any of your friend is coming, then drop a plus one or something in the chat so that I know key I have to wait for some more time. Otherwise, I'll start. So. Also, uh, uh, yep, Manoj, I got your question. Uh, it's fine. Agar, like, instead of personal Zoom chat, you can ask question on the common Zoom chat, the whole chat, the whole recording, just be there, so that everyone can see. I think that will be better. All right, thanks, yeah. So Manoj is asking: Is getting a software engineering role has become more tougher than before? Yeah. Uh, I would say it's not tougher, but the problem is ki supply and jitna supply hai and jitni demand hai market mein. That ratio is totally changed right now. Jab COVID ka time tha and right after that, that ratio was pretty good. Ki jitni zada supply thi, the demand was much more than that. But recently, after this ek saal se, since this recession and everything, that supply demand ratio has changed. So uh, because of that. Yeah, you can say it's getting tougher because you have to outperform. Earlier, you were supposed to outperform, uh, let's suppose, 10 people. So out of 10 also, companies were fine if you are able to manage something. And you have decent knowledge. But right now, the market is such that if you have decent knowledge, that wouldn't be good because there are 10 more people who have much more experience and knowledge also, like better than you. So in that sense, yeah, it's tougher because you need to perform more, you need to uh, learn more, you need to perform better to get the same job, which was a decent, like with the less knowledge also possible. Thi. But right now, it's not like that. So, uh, yeah, uh, also, uh, like, I'll get to all these questions. Like, first, let me give me a basic introduction of myself, so that everyone knows about me. That will be good. So uh, hi everyone, I'm Ankush Pandey and I'm currently a software developer at Trilogy Innovations, which was formerly known as Code Nation since uh, August, 2022. And since next question, I think majorly Safari Yoga, ki whether this was on campus, off campus. So I'll tell you how Trilogy actually hires. Trilogy conducts a, a coding competition around, I think twice every year. So one of this competition is, uh, it happens around August or September somewhere there and it's pan India. That is everyone, anyone in the India can uh, apply and pa take participation in this. So after the coding round, there are certain other uh, aptitude tests also, which are known as CSAT and PCSAT. After that, then you, I had my interviews and then uh, two, there were two interviews. One was DSA. Can you tell the months that we have to take tests? Sure. Uh, actually, I'll tell you about the months. Uh, these months where they conduct the test they are not fixed as such they usually post about them on their online uh, on their either instagram page trilogy has an instagram page as well as a linkedin page so whenever they have they are conducting any such test they'll definitely post it there so you can get to know about the test from their linkedin page or maybe you can post uh, ping someone on the linkedin they will be more than happy to reply if they know about it so yeah, after the coding test, there are two aptitude tests also. One is CSAT, which is essentially um, you are you have to solve 50 questions in 15 minutes of time. And uh, these are majorly aptitude-based questions, uh, more like uh, what you get in your MBA preparations. So English, maths, everything is there, logical reasoning and all that. This is PCSAT, that is it is proctored. So there is a person who comes from crossover, he monitors you and the level of um, Hardness increases a bit, PCSAT may compare to CSAT. Then there are two levels of interviews. One is majorly DSA and the other one is uh, more oriented towards your resume and software development skills. Lastly, a HR round hota hai. The HR round is more like just to see whether you are fit for the company or not. I think anyone can pass that if he's able to pass first and second round. So that was how you joined Trilogy. So I've been working there since last one year almost now. Uh, I am majorly a backend engineer, so I have worked majorly on the backend side of the things. But yeah, 
okay expected ctc sure i'll come to that also so apart from yeah, let's pick this one i think you will be more interested in the ctc part of it rather than what i do so ctc is uh, they have 36 fixed component but i think recently they changed it for the recent graduates who are joining them because right now there is a slight change in their compensation and they haven't disclosed it to us and the new joinees also they haven't disclosed it explicitly so i'll tell you the base compensation which is fixed for a year is around 31 to 32 which will include your 30 base and some annual bonus of around 2.5 this annual bonus actually varies if like uh, it totally depends on the kind of project that you are doing and the level at which the company is performing if there are various successful projects then yeah you will be getting this 2.5 lakh of annual bonus otherwise there is one lakh of joining bonus which you will definitely get after uh, first month of your joining so that is the compensation right uh, like the breakup of the compensation apart from that uh, i don't know the most interesting part about trilogy was its boot camp where they take you to dubai for your conducting this boot camp so earlier they used to take all the three months uh, boot camp is of three months so earlier all this three months was in dubai but recently for my batch they took us for only two months not for the first month and i think now they have stopped it totally i don't know you will need to confirm all this thing but that you need to confirm from the hr or the person who is taking your interview that was the most interesting part of the CTC. And they do mention this, like whatever compensation you have, 32 is fixed. And apart from that, they do mention these expenses also in your CTC. So that makes it up to 36 or something. So that is just for name, but you will be getting 31 or 32 fixed. So uh, I'll take up this question. Did you apply for internship in Trilogy? Oh, uh, okay. So let me take this question first. Did you apply offline for internship in Trilogy? No, I didn't apply for internship. Uh, like I got this inter placement at Trilogy uh, when they conducted their uh, Pan India coding competition in 2022. And it happened around, I think, September, right? Um, August. It happened around August 1 or 31st July something. That is usually when they conduct. That is the uh, time around which they conduct this Pan India coding competition. And it is known as Codegon or something. I don't remember the exact name. You are 22, three yard. No, I passed from IIIT Allahabad in 2022. So that is how I got into the trilogy. Any questions related to that? I can take it up or you can just drop it in the chat. We'll take it up. Sure, I'll take all these questions. So how was your experience so far? Uh, so, all right. In trilogy, essentially, uh, it's more about problem solving. Uh, trilogy. If you meet any person to trilogy, he would be more oriented towards problem solving rather than development or making a product or something. Because uh, more or less, trilogy is a service kind of company where you develop products for its sister sibling companies. Like uh, they have this company where, and many other companies come to them. They pitch in what the requirement is. And based on that, you perform, uh, like you have a cycle of two to three months where you develop that product. Okay, can you elaborate problem solving? Sure, can you say how much CP is required? How much DSA and dev is required? How much rating is required? Are you doing this? All right. Uh, all right, I think the most interesting question to pick up would be uh, all these questions, they align together. How much CP rating is required? How much DSA dev is needed? How much CP is required? I think I can take that up. Sure, I'll tell you about the CP journey also. Essentially, uh, uh, in my college, there were people who actually said that, uh, who took CP very seriously, and I was not among them. So initially, I didn't do any CP at all. Uh, so I just used to focus on my coding competitions that used to happen in college, or your basic lead code, that's all. For uh, 2021 May, when the internship started, internship season started in my college, then I started doing CP. And uh, for me, it was always, I was, the marks that I went in CP was D. I was never able to solve, D I very rarely solve kar pata tha. But yeah, one and two, I was able to solve quickly. C, I used to take, uh, jo bhi time mera one or two mein tha, I used to devote it to C and then get the solution. 
so that is how my cp was uh, i wasn't too good into cp i never went to any this icpc and anything but yeah i did when uh, placement season started so my friends were there which were who were really good so unke sath milke i used to compete in my local only like they used to create a test for us so that placement ke time pe it would help us they used to create any local virtual com- competitions and all of us would participate in it hum panch che log ka group tha and we used to participate and jisko sabse zyada aata tha humme cp he was a person who was able to do e level of questions also on code forces so he would tell us ki humne matlab he would tell us the uh, basic solution for all of them after we completed the test uske baad normal discussion we used to discuss all that ki where we went wrong and all that so for specifically trilogy yeah if you have to crack uh the coding competition i would say it's necessary if you are able to solve b questions uh at least 50% of the time because considering that question which we got in my time it was also not key simple it wasn't a simple dp question or any some simple question i remember usme ek alag sa hi concept lag raha tha which i recently learned from one of my friends pre sac or something that i don't even remember its name now but it was a unique concept jo cp se hi related tha and without that i don't think agar wo concept mereko pata nahi hota to us concept ko wahan pe right there developing all that concept would have been impossible so yeah it's necessary ki you know about the things which are there in cp all the algorithms jo thodi si alag hai and they are only used in cp that is necessary and agar ratings ki baat kare i never focused on ratings because ratings meri kai kai baar kharab bhi ho jati thi because kai baar for the placement duration i used to focus on uh, projects also project ke chakkar mein if i didn't participate like give much attention to coding and all that my lead code bhi shift ho jata tha sometimes because trilogy wasn't my goal my goal was to get placed तो उस ड्यूरेशन के लिए आई यूज्ड टू फोकस मोर ऑन लीड कोड समटाइम्स कोड फोर्सेस का भी मन करता था फ्रेंड्स आर गिविंग तो हम सब साथ दे देते थे सो आई वुडंट से एनीथिंग अबाउट द रेटिंग बट ऑल आई कैन से इज अगर इफ यू आर एबल टू सॉल्व टी लेवल ऑफ क्वेश्चंस समटाइम्स इवन 50% ऑफ द टाइम देन यू आर इन गुड रेंज आई थिंक यू कैन क्रैक दैट कोडिंग कंपटीशन व्हिच हैपेंस अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट फॉर द डीएसए राउंड रिलेटिवली सिंस लास्ट वन ईयर द लेवल ऑफ क्वेश्चन हैज डिक्रीज अर्ली दे यूज टू आस्क वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन एंड इंटरव्यूज ऑल्सो मतलब सी पी के सी और डी लेवल क्वेश्चन दे यूज टू आस्क इन इंटरव्यू ऑल्सो बट राइट नाउ इट हैज लाइक इट हैज डिक्रीज द लेवल हैज डिक्रीज सो लीड कोर्ट के हार्ड क्वेश्चन इज द मोस्ट आई थिंक दैट यू विल बी आस्क इन इंटरव्यूज ऑल्सो दैट कवर्स ऑफ द सी पी पार्ट फॉर माई प्रिपरेशन ऑफ गेटिंग इन टू ट्रायोलॉजी नाउ कमिंग टू दैट डेफ पार्ट for development part yeah i did prepared two specific projects and uh, what about the fundamentals in interview yeah sure i'll take up that also fundamental yeah i'll come to the interview part first let me like uh, give you a brief about how i went like how i was start shortlisted for the interview so i have told you about the cp part ki this was how i used to prepare now coming to the part where my resume was like uh the dsa pro, uh, dev projects that i had so at my time i knew that to outstand i need something extra that other people don't have like in my college almost 90% of the people will have some dsa dbm sql project or some no sql full stack project jisme ek one stack ki kuch basic application develop hogi but to uh, get into such companies and to make interviews in your favor i always had this opinion ki if you want to uh, give a good interview and you want to have a good impression on the interviewer it's must key interview should be from totally from your aspect as in whatever you want to discuss that should be going on in the interview uske liye the most important thing is uh, whatever you are you have in your resume it should be something which is not present commonly there even if it is present commonly there you should have gone one step extra in that common thing so what i did was i developed a uh, web job web application where we had the charting feasibility so in this charting feasibility at that time i got to know about ngx so this could actually help me in load balancing so at that time i learned about system design and everything so there i got to know okay there is a concept of load balancing also which i can utilize and that additional thing of load balancing that was the major uh, like that it was actually the pivotal point of my entire interview i was able to frame all my questions around that and even the interview was interview was interested he knew that okay i have worked on that and whatever questions were uh, like whatever trailing questions were there they were always related to that then you went to some other 
uh, there was this one other question also where I had developed a web so uh, like a uh, chatting app on the web socket. He asked me to develop a similar app, but it, this time it shouldn't be a chatting app. Think of some other application where you can utilize this. So that is my point of view. From the dev, you need to have at least two projects. One should be in SQL because coming yeah coming to the question of the fundamentals in the interview, they will definitely ask you the fundamentals as in the DBMS fundamentals where you should know about what are logs, what are concurrent read and write problems. All that is necessary because uh, they if not going into depth, they will definitely ask you a sim very simple question at times. Open boards using socket.io, correct, yeah. Uh, yes, that is correct, whoever this person is asking. Key open board using socket.io, correct. Socket.io, he used kiya tha maine bhi. I don't know about open board. Anyways, so uh, I think DSA, mein, dev mein it was all. I did go, I did had two good projects and this, uh, one was this web socket and another was this one, uh, making a something clone of Instagram using Mern stack. Apart from that, coming to the fundamentals, it's good to have fundamentals uh, because without fundamental, you won't be able to answer all these questions of concurrent, concurrent, how to handle concurrency essentially in database. And that is an aspect where, as I mentioned, ki trilogy mein they look for problem solving aspect. So now this is what I meant by problem solving. Uh, they will give you random questions. Out of that, they don't want to see that you are able to answer that question or not. Their major focus is on if you have a question, are you able to think of all the things that are related to that question? Like if there is a concurrency ka issue, hai, you are able to think concurrency ho kyu rahi hai. There could be a case where there is lots of data load on the server itself. So concurrency could be related to uh, load balancing also in some sense. If you are able to have this holistic 360 view, then that is good. That is what they are looking for. You are able to break down the problem. problem You are able to pinpoint the specific parts of it. That is what they are looking for. And Usme fundamentals come very handy. So that is why fundamentals are necessary. So, all right, uh, let's take up the next question. Uh, bro, please journey and where is you? How about the fundamentals that is taken up? Computer networks. Uh, I did study computer networks for my interviews, but luckily I didn't ask anything about computer networks. So it's just, a, I would say luck. Ki, it worked for me, but yeah, I did study. Agar koi push le to, I should be prepared. That's what was like. That is how I prepared. So, all right. Uh, Insta clone like a social media app. Correct. Yeah. Insta clone like a social media app. Correct. System design bhi tha. Yeah. They, this essentially this entire thing was system design only where they asked me ki many load balancing kiye to, how am I load balancing and all that. So that was the major part of, uh, system design. Where and later on down the line, if you are able to explain your product, they also have some questions where you will be asked to prepare uh, some of your own uh, product. And in that product, it will be basically a system design. So for me, there was a question where I had to design a railway station connection system. Yeah, railway station system, which would essentially tell all the users how many trains this IRCTC app essentially. So for that, I had to design a low level kind of thing. So that did no, just the low level. Uh, I would say low level, let me recall that. I was just, what algorithm has to be used? What are the different components? Okay, it was just HLD. You don't have to go for the low level, sorry. Low level, now let me clear. Let me be clear. Low level essentially means you have to write down the classes and what functions will be there in each class and how the classes would be interrelated. That is what comes under the low level. But you didn't need, I wasn't supposed to do that. Uh, I was supposed to just give him the HLD high level design. That is, there will be uh, this microservice and there will be these microservices, this microservice, what the work of each microservice would be and how will they communicate a basic uh, JSON data jo pass kar sakti ek microservice, do say microservice ko, to communicate between each other like that. Okay, where did I get the system design? So system design, ke liye, uh, especially as I mentioned, ki I read about uh, system design, this sharding and... Uh, the load balancing from Gaurav, uh, Gaurav, I don't remember his full name. YouTube pe his videos are there. Gaurav Sen, yeah. Gaurav Sen ki videos are, jo pura samjha de di hai how sharding and everything works. So consistent hashing and all that. I was able to understand that. Wo maine achche se explain kar diya tha. And apart from that, there is this book of Groking. Uh, us book se better maine jo kiya tha, uh, before going to the interview, maine dekha tha ki whatever questions are asked in the previous years, 
for interview of Intrology. So there was this question of Notepad, uh, where we had to develop a Notepad. Usme copy paste ki functionalities and everything would be there. So those questions and jo bhi similar questions se, unko maine dekha ki okay there are two three types of questions. And on two three types of questions ke solution jab maine Google karna start kiya, so I got to know ki Groking mein ye sab kuch included hai. So essentially, final source of truth is Groking. But you can go anywhere online, jahan pe bhi achhe se samajh mein aa jaye, that is good for you. You can study that. Maine toh GFG ke hi pad liye the. कि हाउ टू मेक अ नोट पैड विच कैन अलाउ कॉपी पेस्ट एंड ऑल दैट फंक्शनलिटीज या या लाइक फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन ऑफ सिस्टम डिजाइन फॉर एनी स्पेसिफिक कंपनी वर्क्स लाइक इफ इट्स रियली स्टडी फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन तो बहुत ज्यादा है लाइक आई वुड से अगर तुम फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन कर ले रहे हो तो यू आर रियली एट नेक्स्ट लेवल अदरवाइज अगर इफ यू आर एबल टू इवन सॉल्व टेन क्वेश्चन टू थ्री क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो टू बाई टू थ्री क्वेश्चन आई मीन स्पेसिफिकली एंटायर सिस्टम लाइक अगर आपको जोमेटो बनाना है देन यू आर डूइंग द एंटायर एच एल डी ऑफ जोमेटो That these services would be there, and inka load balancing ऐसे होगा या फिर ऐसे होगा. The name of the book is Groking, G R O. Uh, if you would Google, मेरे को भी spelling भी याद नहीं है. If you would Google it, you will get to know. Yeah, oops plus H L D correct. That is what is required. And 50 question is a lot. मैं इसलिए कह रहा था because if you are able to solve around 10 to 20 questions also, that means अगर तुमने 10 और 20 question कर लिए हैं, then subsequent 30 question जो आने वाले हैं. Those would just be a, a revision for you because thoda sa hi change hone wala hai. Zomato, Swiggy, every everyone does the same thing only. Agar Ola or Zomato ko bhi compare karoge, more or less, sab hamara saman khane ka would change with the car. That's it. Aise minor changes hi aenge that you can manage. Agar tum ek ko bhi achhe se samajh sakte. Might be the follow up on those two. Uh, Oops plus HLD might be the. I didn't get this question. Uh, Oops plus HLD might be the follow up on those twenty questions. uh which 20 questions anyways i think i need cover all the okay yeah that thanks manoj manoj has dropped the link for groking that's the book which i was talking about so you can go through that okay like the later 30 questions maybe the follow up correct yeah correct that is how it would be so later 30 questions only that could be follow up questions on the first 20 questions so this was all from my trilogy now coming back to how the experience over here is so trilogy is a very fast paced uh, is a service based company and there's the development is very fast paced so we essentially have to develop a product in around 2.5 to 3 months so every 3 months we change our product the thing that we are working on will definitely change it could be anything uh, recently i worked on a vs code extension usse pehle i had worked on a google chrome extension so that's that is how the things change uh, it is never fixed ki tum kisi ek specific tech stack pe kaam kar rahe hoge over here that is why they look for a person who is able to solve problems quickly and who is able to uh, adjust to the new surroundings to the new some new problem that is given to him some new language which he has to learn in the product that is what they look for because yahan pe they don't have any product that you will be working on throughout the year throughout your employment product yahan pe khud hi change hote rehte hain all right uh, so ye question dekh lijiyega i am 2024 grad what should be preparation strategy we had ds intermediate like lead code three star on cc one developer had two interns and to start up total nine months of experience what do i do in so my resume can get shortlisted and i can get interviews basically what second year students should do to crack this company and how many hours to give ah uh, see uh, this question yaar how many hours to ye to i don't think i will be able to answer that that depends totally yaar some people ye to jee ke jaisa scene ho gaya yaar some people are able to crack jee even with two three hours of preparation some ko 12 lagte hain so you can't actually answer this on the number of hours but yeah i can tell you keep prepare kaise kar sakte ho for this company the best thing i think that you can do is have a group of people jinke sath tum prepare karne wale ho like it's good to have some people jinke sath tum agar problem solve nahi kar pa rahe to you are able to discuss that this discussion of hard problems is essentially what will lead to your growth because agar tum ek question dekhoge and tumne solve kiya and tumne solution dekha nahi dekha tumne solve kar liya but later on you might forget about it but with these discussions you, this gets imprinted in your brain yaar so that is how it was helpful for me uh what to focus mainly on dsa or dev i would say see for the strategy could be different the main bottom line is you need to be good in both you need to be good in dsa to crack the uh, to crack the coding interview coding rounds 
and then you need to be good in dev to get into the to pass all those interviews so dono hi cheez bahut important hai but first dsa kyunki i knew dsa ke bina dev tak ka pahunchne wala hi nahi hu so dsa is definitely the first thing that you should be good at then comes the dev dev mein i would say ki most of the times companies do give relaxation because they know you are a college student only you haven't worked in some production level of thing so whatever they are expecting out of you is just some basic that you have some basic understanding of some things and did you explore whatever options you had while developing a project or not that is what they are searching for unko nahi chahiye ki you are able to write in complex java algorithms classes and all that they don't want all this unko bas basic cheeze chahiye ki you should be able to have a understanding of how java actually works agar internally process ho rahi hai so how it is going on how our classes made how our things so basic understanding of each language jisme tumne product develop kiya ho and now this comes to this this hap, applies to everything sql database no sql database sab ki basic understanding jo ek college student se expected hoti hai that they expect only that much but coming to dsa dsa mein to they definitely expect ki you would be good and considering the competition so it's definitely good ki agar tum dsa kafi acha prepare kar lo then coming to the dev dev mein if you have some decent projects as i said ki basic projects jo mere bhi the wo bhi they were very simple mon ka ek clone copy bana rakha tha सम एस क्यूल डेटा बेस का एक बना रखा था सिस्टम मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम लाइब्रेरी मैनेजमेंट काइंड ऑफ थिंग एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो वन मोर माइल अहेड तो आई वुड से टेक समथिंग विच यू थिंक आई वुड सजेस्ट क्रोम एक्सटेंशन ट्राई टू डेवलप सम बेसिक क्रोम एक्सटेंशन यूल हैव अ गुड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ जावा स्क्रिप्ट नोट कैसे कॉम्युनिकेशन होता है एंड ऑल दैट तो दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग शो दैट या यू बेंट वन स्टेप अहेड यू डेट यूटिलाइज समथिंग एंड in the interview also you are able to explain matlab pura ka pura interview would be revolving around you only and whatever you are pitching to the interviewer not what interviewer is pitching to you so that is i think good for me it was really good for me at least is it possible to get a job if i do not have any good projects in dev uh if you don't have any good projects in dev then depends on the kind of company there are companies which can hire you with just cp if you are very good at cp but if you are not good you do not have projects uh, now this could be two criteria if you do not have any good project first thing is ki tumne development kiya nahi you had time you focused on dsa and to uske wajah se loss hoga you will be out of the 100 companies jo available hai you will be just limited to 10 companies jo keval dsa pe focus kar rahi hain once you get into that koi company dsa nahi likha rahi hoti tumse so you have to do the development when you get inside the company ab wahan pe the edge comes to the other person jisne thoda development pe bhi dhyan de diya tha usne coding round bhi clear kar liya na aur jab kaam karne ki baat aayi aayegi to he knows a bit about the dev so it will be easier for him to work there otherwise i think agar tum acha dsa kar rahe ho to you you'll definitely catch up dev dev ke sath to it's more or less like practicing so you will be able to catch up uh were you into open source uh i wasn't into open source but the people around me they were into open source uh, some of my friends got into gsoc also so and some people that i know are there so this open source open source thing was in my college i didn't know about it but i wasn't able to contribute effectively my dev mein itna acha tha hi nahi ki main itna sab open source mein bhi ja ke kuch kar pata that was the truth and i knew that ki mereko bhi itna to kuch nahi aata hai तो आई वॉज इन टू ओपन सोर्स एंड ऑल दैट बट या अगर कुछ इंटरेस्टिंग चीज दिखती थी तो डेफिनेटली आई यूज टू आज दम कि क्या कर रहे हैं लाइक हाउ डज दिस ओपन सोर्स वर्क वट आर दे डूइंग या फिर डेवलपमेंट कैसे करते हैं लाइक दैट प्लीज से सम प्रोजेक्ट विच आई शुड बिल्ड यूजिंग डेव अब नाउ अगेन दिस थिंग रिसेंटली वॉट आई कैन थिंक ऑफ देर आर सम प्रोजेक्ट विच यू कैन वर्क ऑन इज आई थिंक चार्ट जी पी टी को यूटिलाइज करके यू कैन बिल्ड अ वेरी इजी ग्रोम एक्सटेंशन chrome extensions are the basic thing jo can be built very easily and uska server tum apne local mein create bhi kar sakte ho have a backend mysql backend or something jahan se tum api call wagera kar sakte ho dev server mein learn about uh ek apart from all this preparation aspect of it there is one more aspect that is of learning the development process so usme i would say have a um, this would uh, this प्रोसेस जो मैं भी बताने वाला हूँ दिस विल एसेंशियली हेल्प यू इन डेवलपमेंट ओनली ऑलवेज हैव अ गुड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ वट प्रोजेक्ट और वट एवर टेक दैट यू आर यूजिंग उसके लिए वॉट इज द मोस्ट नेसेसरी थिंग इज यू शुड गो एंड रीड इट्स डॉक्यूमेंटेशन 
for example if when i started working on this open source for uh, this chat gpt essentially open ai is the company which provides all these apis to interact with chat gpt so you should go to its uh, instructions first wahape they will definitely describe everything what is there how you can utilize their api and what are the speed rate limits and all that all that criteria so after going through that documentation tumhe basic idea ho jayega okay tumhara basic project hai you don't need to worry about this rate limiting and all that but you will still get an idea okay there is a thing known as rate limiting and how that is avoided they usually have that section also how you can avoid a rate limit and all that so all this comes in handy later on so that all this is there in the back of your head ki ha karte time i did read about it i know about it but i didn't implement it because obviously a college student project ke liye you don't need to worry about rate limiting and all that so that is uh, the projects which i mentioned earlier you can work on is chrome extension there are vs code extension also wo bhi basic typescript and javascript mein react ke through use hote hain you can maybe think about that and try developing that unke liye bhi acha khasa documentation is available to read and do now comes focus on crud operations and project create apis make it scalable as ankush mentioned is correct yeah that's correct correct manoj jo bhi bola that's the basic crux of everything apart so i think i have covered all the questions any other question do you guys have i'll be more than glad to answer all of them uh i think let me go through all the questions once more so that i know i have covered all of them uh what focus mainly on dsa dev we still have the second year should we crack okay this person has asked please tell what a second year student should do to crack this company and how are okay i think i did answer this you need to just be focused try to give as much of your time as possible and one thing which i would say Yeah, it's good to aim for a company ki you will need to get into trilogy you want to go there but don't be such like itna stubborn nahi ho jana chahiye ki you just want to go into trilogy only like there are more than 100 companies which pay better than trilogy and which are actually better than trilogy with good compensation so the basic thing that you can work on is try cp if possible definitely start from the lead code get up to a level where you are able to solve some hard questions by thinking for yourself uske baad try to go for cp try to solve as many questions as you can jitna zyada exposure badega it's better for you and down the line jab like when it comes to the point of placement so definitely then you need to count count your hours because at that time each hour would matter because there are people who are competing with you for that same position and they are putting in more hours uh so this is i think i answered this one also i'm a 2024 grad what should i be preparation strategy like lead code i think this is also answered play broken answer has been done which book how did you manage all these subjects in the actually excelled in these areas during your college time so all these uh subjects i would say how many years level first let me get to that question of which manoj asked uh, how did i manage all these questions uh, like so i would say uh, i was from ec background so i didn't never i never studied uh, os and all that in my class or any such thing but i but my seniors were there jinhone bataya tha ki yaar you need to prepare all this uh, os dbms you need to be aware of the basics of them so there are many youtube videos which are available online i used to go through them and apne notes bana ke because essentially jo student class mein bhi pad raha hota hai wo bhi inhi youtube video se pad ke ja raha hota hai test dene यहाँ पे इट वॉज मोर अबाउट एप्लीकेशन राधा देन राइटिंग इट डाउन एंड जो भी रटा है वो सब लिखने के अलावा तो आई यूज टू गो थ्रू ऑल दैट इतना एक्सप्लिसिटली ओ एस एंड ऑल पे मैंने स्टार्टिंग में कभी फोकस नहीं किया क्योंकि बिकॉज आई नो वो पढ़ने की चीजें एंड वंस यू स्टडी दैम इट्स लाइक तुम्हें बेसिक आइडिया रह जाएगा उस बेसिक आइडिया का कुछ होने वाला नहीं है अनलेस यू रिवाइज दैम एंड यू हैव दैम की थरली याद हो तुम्हें तभी इंटरव्यू के टाइम पे इट विल बी यूजफुल अगर तुम ऐसे वेग आइडिया दे दोगे ओके आई नो समथिंग अबाउट एसिडिटी बट exactly hai ki acidity wo nahi bata pa rahe ho that doesn't gives a good impression compared to the person jo acidity pura explain kar le raha hai kyunki these basic things hi hai jo ek pressure se expect ki jati hai as i mentioned earlier also ki these os basics dbms basics everyone expects ki tum ye padh ke aoge this because this is necessary sure one of my i i hope so best of luck and now comes to the question of rajan uh, how much dsa and dev is needed to clear more than 10 lpa 10 lpa company i would say are uh, 
one thing which I find very interesting in the company, like in companies or which I have noticed is uh, these companies which offer more than 10 and are in range of 10 to 12 or 15, they will definitely get into your basics. As in, if you are saying that you are a Java developer, you have developed something in Java, they would want to know ki Java kaise work karti hai, if you understand that or not, whether Java is compiled or whether it is transpiled, Java can be like Java can be compiled on any platform. Java works on any platform. Why is it so? How the compilation process works? So they will basically focus on this aspect ki tumhe sari understanding aani chahiye basic scheme. That happens for the, these companies which are there for more than 10 and are less than around 15. And you are asking how much DSA and dev is needed to clear more than 10 LBA companies. Uh, uh, dev, I would say it's better if you have say, at least three projects and on three projects may say at least two to you should have made your own which you have made. I understand that sometimes it usually happens people copy it from the, some online source and just understand it. Even if you are copying anything, always make sure that you are able to understand all of it. It's fine. Koi bar hota development, it happens ki something is working on their computer. It is not working on your computer. That happens because usually library versions are different. So that is fine. It's no worry ki tumne pura project banani pa end to end. It is not working. That is fine. As long as you are able to understand ki jo cheez tum kar rahe the, what, uh, what are the all basic components of your project and her basic component ka, what is the contribution it is giving to the entire project as whole. If you are clear on that, then it's fine. But essentially, two projects should be there which you have thorough understanding of. Or thorough understanding, it's best way is you develop them yourself. So that is the for dev and coming to the DSA part. Yeah, if you are able to, you should always go for medium to hard level of questions on lead code. At least 500 questions per low. Or nahito, there are so many sheets of these people, Striver and all that, Bubber in Sabki, Bohat Sari sheets. Okay, you can utilize that. No, uh, I never went for these sheets because uh, these sheets are more or like us time pe, when I was preparing Striver and they were just upcoming at that time. Malab, they weren't at such boom, Jitpe Abhi and you look, Bubber and Striver. I used to watch Love Bubber's some videos, ki, wo daily experience was relaxation. Ke liye not from the aspect of learning thing ki wo mere ko coding padha dega. For learning aspect, I usually used to go on dev, uh, lead code. Unke solutions online available rehte hai, discussions mein. I used to go through them or apne, I knew whatever topics I had to prepare. DP was there, graph is there, tree is there, greedy algorithm. Ab DP graph, tree and string manipulation. In char ke alawa, I don't think there is anything which will be left. So you won't be able to do. If you are able to do all these four kind of things, Apart from this, whatever is left is more or less some intellectual or logical kind of thinking. So you can manage that. That's what I feel. So I will proceed with that because I knew I don't need their help. But definitely I have friends and I have people who have told me that yeah, these sheets are really good and you can utilize them. So I would say why not give it a try. Agar if they are helpful for you, why not? Uh, okay, this is done. Anything else? All right. Okay. Uh, I have one more question. My college doesn't have campus placement. What all should I prepare to crack interview? I'm a third year student and soon I'll be entering fourth year. Okay. I just started ASA with C++ and it's taking pretty much time. What should I do to placement just after college is over? Kindly give me that. All right. Uh, so uh, the best thing is you are graduating in 2024. So uh, considering the situation of market since last six months, uh, 2024, th it's going to be better, much more better than what it is right now. So it's good that you are not passing out currently. Comparatively, it's better. Coming to the question of you are saying that you started C++ right now. So definitely in the start, sabko time lagta hai. It's necessary actually to start, give some time in the start. Start may, because you will be understanding the basics of everything. And once you have these basics clear, after that, there will be a definite increase, decrease in your time that you are giving to learn things. So it happens like that only that is the, general process ki initially it will take a lot of time, but that time will go on decreasing as in as long as you are consistent and you are putting in more efforts. So that time will 
come where you are able to solve a question you are able to give lead good questions uh, competitions and you are able to solve at least two three good questions without uh, within the time limit or with some time left also uh, for dsa i would say since you will be definitely applying for off campus only one thing which i would say uh, can actually help any everyone over here if you are looking for some off campus thing always go for uh, good resumes and these cold emailing or having a good linkedin connections i think that is something which can be very useful to people because there are places there are lots of startups also recently which uh, which are essentially providing the service of uh, providing software engineers to other mnc's essentially jo wellfound.com is there which is a hiring platform and their insta hire which is also a hiring platform all these platforms are also very useful but to have a good resume on these uh, platforms to get out shortlisted what is important is you have a good uh, decent experience now this experience doesn't needs to be internship experience if it is internship it's very good that's really good otherwise what i think you can do if you are a group of 2 3 people just have some basic thing a basic project of your own a basic project bana lo like a zomato clone service or instagram clone service that's it us clone service ko utilize give it to 10 to 20 people apna or you don't have to do anything you just need to find somewhere you can deploy it like github or any place and have a local server utilize 10 to 20 ask 10 to 20 of your friends ki theek hai utilize my service whatever you are doing that way there will be two things first of all you will be able to say that okay you did work on a project you did have a active user base also i know it doesn't makes really a good sense but it will give you a comp confidence boost that is actually necessary at that time so have this thing utilize your connections on linkedin that is really helpful because there are people who are always eager to help and these openings uh, for off campus it's best if you can get a referral for these full time openings so both forces or lead code or both in my opinion both correct maruj it's best to go for both but the st- stepping stone could be lead code because lead code is more uh, placement oriented i would say both forces is more competition oriented as in competitive oriented competitive programming oriented because code forces has a if you are to solve code forces you need to have a different mindset that this could be a question uh, which could be just based on maths but on lead code it's more or less uh, problems are more or less a uh, real time kind of problem you would i would say ki jisme you don't have to do just some, some maths and solve a question or answer aa jana chahiye lead code pro- frames the question in such a way that it becomes more relevant to the questions which are asked in the company becomes much more similar first yeah what should i do after dsa standard problem so you could correct yeah after dsa dev is there and the standard questions is also fine uh anything else like this was all about my trilogy internship or the trilogy full time employment duration if you have anything else guys if you don't have anything else it's fine you can unmute yourself also you can ask questions that will be faster also say something for the off campus yeah I, as i mentioned off campus ke liye it's best if you utilize your linkedin connections and you should be aware about the platforms the the reason i'm saying ki utilize your linkedin connection is linkedin connections pe sometimes there are people who would just tell you ki if you're not eligible to apply they will tell you some other good platforms where you can actually apply like mereko wellfound.io and this uh, insta hire and there is one more kavi c u v e w t something platform i got to know about all this just from the my linkedin connections unhone hi bataya tha ki they have these openings their company is hiring through these platform also so i can go on there and come apply so that is what i would say for off campus these are the two things otherwise in off campus yeah one thing is make a sheet for yourself sheet ke through you are able to keep a contract like track ki tumne kaun si companies dekhi hai agar 15 कंपनी भी देखी है तो आज 15 कंपनी में ओपनिंग नहीं है बट मे बी एक महीने बाद 15 कंपनी में ओपनिंग आ जाए किसी में सो दैट शीट विल हेल्प यू कि यू नो कि कौन सी 15 कंपनीज है ऐसे तो बिकॉज 
आई थिंक ऑन हैंड यू कैन काउंट टेन टू ट्वेंटी कंपनीज इनका नाम तुम्हें हमेशा याद रहेगा बाकी सब कंपनीज का नाम याद नहीं रहेगा बट दे आर पेइंग गुड सो दैट वे शीट अ शीट कुड बी अ गुड वे टू कीप ट्रैक ऑफ योर एप्लीकेशन और एप्लीकेशन ट्रैक के साथ टू कीप अ ट्रैक ऑन नंबर ऑफ ओपनिंग विच आर देयर इन द कंपनीज किसी भी कंपनी में ओपनिंग आती है समटाइम्स इट हैपन्स ओपनिंग आती है वुडेंट इवन गेट टू नो लिंकड पे भी नहीं आई एनी इट इज नॉट देयर ऑन एनी बट उनके करियर पेज पे है वो सो दैट वे इट बिकम्स हेल्पफुल नाउ कमिंग टू द Uh, that was for off campus i would say utilize your linkedin connection apna process for organize kar lo whatever you are applying for always ask for referrals if possible before applying because that increases your chances otherwise uh, these uh, hackers pe jo competitions hote hain grid and all that always take participation in that those are good ways to get into company what uh, what about hotstar yeah i'll tell you about hotstar but this question has a session recently ended completely or i'll guess if you Yeah. So, uh, recession. I don't know about recession. Yeah, I don't have much idea about all that. The economy, how is it going, and all that. But one thing which I can definitely observe right now is, it's uh, the situation for hiring is much more better than what it used to be around two, three months ago. So, yeah, there are definitely more openings compared to what it used to be around June or up April of this year. And this, I suppose, will be increasing more because the one of the May. most basic reason that you can think of is recently around october november december in winters may it's will be hiring and since it's have their placements the companies also know that they need some good people so it's is the place doesn't matter yeah there are people i don't mean to say ki baaki jagah se acche nahi milte but a designated place is iit and if they want to hire from iit this is the time when iit has its placement तो दिस इज द टाइम जब वो अपनी ओपनिंग्स वापस खोलना स्टार्ट कर देंगे एंड इफ देर आर ओपनिंग्स डेफिनेटली यू कैन अप्लाई सो दैट्स व्हाई आई एम अ बिट पॉजिटिव अबाउट दिस कि अब ओपनिंग्स आएंगी अबाउट हॉटस्टार हॉटस्टार यार इट वाज माय ऑन कैंपस इंटर्नशिप हॉटस्टार डिड कम टू माय कैंपस एंड उनका भी बेसिक प्रोसेस यही था दे हैड वन ऑनलाइन असेसमेंट देन अ कोडिंग इंटरव्यू एंड देन वन एच आर राउंड कोडिंग uh, इंटरव्यू में बहुत मीडियम से लेवल का क्वेश्चन था इट वाज वेरी इजी अगर तुमने अच्छे क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर रखे हैं तो एंड कमिंग टू द वर्किंग कल्चर एट हॉट्स आर इट्स वन ऑफ द बेस्ट मतलब ट्रायलॉजी से भी बेटर था कंपेयर्ड इफ यू डोंट गो फॉर कॉम्पनसेशन एंड ऑल दोज बिकॉज हॉट्स आर इज द प्लेस वेयर यू गेट टू लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ एम एन सी विच इज इन फॉर्म ऑफ अ स्टार्टअप तो यू गेट ऑल द पर्स ऑफ एम एन सी बट यू आर डेफिनेटली लर्निंग लाइक अ यू शुड हैव इन अ स्टार्टअप Didn't get a PPO. Yeah, I did get a PPO, but I had the option to join either join Hotstar or go to Trilogy. So I wanted to explore more, and that's why I went to Hot uh, Trilogy, and I dropped Hotstar. What type of guy would you give a referral? How much knowledge you would? I don't mind giving referral to anyone. मतलब that's my personal opinion because sometimes happens कि resume में उसने कम लिखा हो. It's a very I would say yeah. very specific personal question i would say everyone has different opinions on this i can give referral to anyone that i feel is fine ki ha if he has there are two things either he should have a good project development mein or he should be good at coding competitions like coding for coding there is only one way to show that you are good that is your cp rating because lead board ke 500 problem solve karna is common for everyone anyone can do that main aaj koi board bana ke hi rakh dunga jisme bas कॉपी पेस्ट करना चालू कर दूंगा तो पांच सौ सॉल्व तो हो जाएंगे मेरे से भी सो कमिंग टू दैट रेफरल देने के लिए एवनी वन वुड बी मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन जनरल अगर इधर यू हैव अ वेरी गुड कोडिंग प्रोफाइल दैट इज यूर गुड एट कॉम्पिटेटिव कोडिंग यू हैव पार्टिसिपेटेड इन सम कॉम्पिटिशन और अच्छी रैंकिंग आई है अदरवाइज द अदर पे इज यू हैव सम गुड प्रोजेक्ट वे यू कैन शो कि हाँ यू हैव लर्न समथिंग दैट इज द टू वे अगर दोनों ही चीज मिसिंग होगी तो एनी वन वुड बी अ बेट रिलेक्टेंट by giving referral because i think at some places number of referrals a person can give is also limited so definitely and no one would want to waste a referral they would want to refer a person who is better than you so that is what i know about uh so this was it i don't have much about the hotstar hotstar i think it's a very basic right now they are not even hiring and it's a hiring freeze at hotstar so who Mm, uh, nothing much about from there, but it's a good company. Definitely worth joining.
Uh, anything else? Guys, you can unmute yourself and ask questions. That's fine. It will be better actually that way. If you don't have any questions, I'll wait for uh, five more minutes. What? And then maybe we can end the session if there are no more questions. How to practice questions on CP and DSM? So you mean to say uh, CP has in key competitive programming, right? So competitive programming, as I mentioned earlier, Code Forces is the best place to practice for competitive programming. And there are so many people who uh, competitive programming, which more or less about the community. Competitive programming ki community is different compared to the DSA community, which is more DSA community is focused on getting placements. Competitive programming is focused on getting uh, like if you have interest into problem solving, then competitive programming is there. Otherwise, it's more or less DSA only. Uh, do you recommend ladders? I don't know about ladders there. What is this ladder? This would be the best for beginners to start with the CP, in my opinion. Art coder. Yeah, correct. Art coder is a very good place. Definitely. Art coder is one of the good place and the competitions be kafi regular hote hai and achhe competitions. Hote hai. So it will help you a lot. Yeah, ladders, I don't know what do you mean by ladders yet. Ladders are good problem sets for each rating. Oh, ha, definitely. Okay, this is of a doubt in here. If they are good problem sets, so definitely you should solve them because it's not just two things that are good. It's not just bad things that are good. It's good only. If you are confident in something. Okay, now coming to CP ladders. Uh, all right, let me go to that website first. Oh, this is. I don't know actually this thing about it. So you can imagine that I have kept so much of CP. और जब मैंने प्रिपेयर किया था तभी भी मैंने ये सब नहीं किया था आई यूज्ड टू जस्ट गिव कोड कंपटीशंस ऑन कोड फोर्सेस एंड लीड कोड से बेसिक प्रिपरेशन की थी बट दिस इज गुड मैंने देखा दिस लैडर थिंग इज गुड डेफिनेटली यू कैन यूटिलाइज दिस यार आई मीन अगर मुझे ये चीज पता होती तो आई वुड हैव गिवन इट अ ट्राई इट्स समथिंग लाइक दैट एंड कंसीडरिंग द रेटिंग बेसिस सो इट्स वर्थ गिविंग इट अ ट्राई मतलब इट विल एटलीस्ट गिव यू द Uh, as I mentioned, कई बार DSA में एक trilogy like company they ask very difficult questions जो CP से related ही होते हैं। तो I think this ladder can help you there if you are able to at least go through the solutions of these high rated problems. तो you will have understanding कि all कौन से algorithms are there which are there. Anything else? Right, I'll wait for eight till eight five. If there are no more questions, then we can end the session. Could you drop the link and account? Just share this with me a second. Link that is Oh, but recently, though, I'm also looking for a switch. So I, I usually reply to all the messages. Like I'm not a, some very famous guy, so I get only decent number of messages on LinkedIn. Unka reply karna is very easy for me. So I always reply to almost all the messages that I get. But anyways, like this question, so to me, I mean. 
I will definitely reply to your questions. अगर कई बार it happens that I'm not able to reply, then you can definitely have a follow up question. So anyone would reply. Ah, that's fine if you have exhaustion. <laughs> that happens. It's fine. Yeah, LinkedIn Premium. There are so many pe people who usually LinkedIn Premium give their attention. I have never purchased LinkedIn Premium. Premium. I mean, usually. From these people who are offering free LinkedIn for a month or two, उनको utilize करता हूँ most of the time. But I think I am also on the limit of it. Recently they have this criteria कि you can't do that for more than I think six months तक कुछ नहीं होना चाहिए. So I am also on the verge of it. इसके बाद लेना ही पड़ेगा. Free वाले के लिए uh, there is one more thing also you can utilize a free month. एक month का तो free देते हैं LinkedIn. You can utilize, give their your card details and एक month का free हो जाएगा but next month से अगर तुमने cancel नहीं किया subscription तो it will cost you a good amount. Yep, sure. Thanks, Manoj. Yeah, let's get connected. I'm I'm accepting all the requests right now only. अरे आई मीन दिस वेरी ऑल्ड वाई आई सर्च फॉर दैट वी वाला जो पीपल गिव अवे का डेफिनेटली सर्च फॉर दैट वी गिव अवे दैट पीपल डू दैट विल हेल्प यू एंड दिस थिंग इज वेरी ऑड यार लिंगन में अगर मैसेज करो तो कभी रिप्लाई नहीं मिलता बाद में रिग्रेट होता है क्यों मैसेज क्यों किया आई मीन भाई इट्स फॉर योर बेनिफिट यू आर आस्किंग दैट पर्सन सो नॉट एवरी वन इज फ्री आई डोंट मतलब पर्सनली आई वुड नेवर बी वर्ड अबाउट दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग कि मैंने मैसेज किया नो वन हैज रिप्लाई टू इट If they are not replying, there are thousands of people working in that org. Yeah, this it isn't about that a particular person can do something. Ping some other person. If he has time, maybe he would reply. That person is busy right now. And image that person doesn't even know you. And you are worried about your image, so that's not good. Correct. Yeah, as I have mentioned, try to send connection request to more than one people. All right, guys. I think we can end the session now. It was good to have you all, guys. Best of luck for your preparation, and hope. Why are you looking for a switch? <laughs> That's a personal question. Yeah, maybe ping me on LinkedIn. I'll let you know. Sure. Okay. Best of luck for your preparation, guys. Just Karan, I think I can end the right. Maybe yeah, it would be great. All right. Okay, guys. Bye.